Good afternoon, everybody. I hope uh, you can hear me with this microphone. Um, first of all, I want to welcome you all here in Freiburg, um, in, uh, as some people say, the Tuscany of Germany. And today we have some temperatures like that. So, um, very welcome here at uh, this uh, conference jointly organized by the Stiftung Geld and Währung, which could be somehow translated into the foundation of money and currency, perhaps, or something similar. And the Walter Eugen Institute, which is uh, the, uh, well, the head of auto liberalism in Germany. So it's the first joint conference that we have here. Um, we are very, very happy that you uh, made the way down to the southwest of, uh, of Germany to join us in this conference. And we are very much looking forward uh, to uh, lively and fruitful discussions um, well, on monetary and fiscal policy. Um, first of all, I would like to say a few words on the Walter Eugen Institute, and I think that uh, Michael Krause will say a few words on the foundation. Um, the Walter Eugen Institute, um, well, it has its name from Walter Eugen, who taught at this university. He's not so well known internationally, uh, outside of German-speaking countries, but uh, actually uh, his work and um, uh, his research uh, laid the foundation for uh, what is called um, the social market economy um, and this particular type of uh, German economic policy. Um, in modern times, you would say, um, in the uh, decision between rules and discretion in economic policy, uh, all the liberal people usually are on the rules side uh, rather than the discretion side of uh, economic policy uh, discussions. Um, the Institute was founded in 1954. Eugen passed in 1950 um, when he gave a series of lectures at uh, the London School of Economics um, after being invited by uh, Friedrich von Hayek. Um, in 1954, uh, the Institute was, was founded by his widow, uh, some of his uh, pupils and students, and also uh, other people um, close to uh, Eugen and um, uh, to his research. Um, uh, only uh, one year later, also Ludwig Erhard joined uh, as one of uh, the early uh, members of uh, the Institute. And the idea has always been um, to uh, translate this uh, thinking of rule-based economic policy that auto liberalism developed uh, then uh, into a future economic um, thinking. Um, on the one hand, side, scientifically, uh, with the theoretical and empirical work, and on the other side, um, in uh, economic policy terms. Um, the, uh, uh, after 1954, uh, uh, when uh, the first, uh, one of the first two directors was Friedrich Lutz, perhaps known to the one or the other because he taught at Princeton University in uh, several years before he moved back uh, to uh, Europe and then teaching at Zurich University. He was the first, one of the first directors, uh, followed by Friedrich von Hayek in the 1960s, um, and then, well, it uh, came up uh, after Victor van Berg uh, to me uh, as uh, the director of the Institute. And today, uh, we are doing uh, research in several areas of, uh, of research macroeconomically, in particular uh, regarding fiscal policy issues, but also um, regarding labor market questions, um, behavioral economics to some extent, uh, and we are also uh, working um, to some extent uh, in, um, uh, in uh, uh, yeah, tax evasion and then tax cheating issues. Yeah. So this is just a small um, impression on what the Institute is uh, doing in its research. And uh, so, welcome again, and I'm going to um, Michael. Uh, when we started um, to have the idea on this conference, uh, it was um, it's the uh, board of uh, the Stiftung. It is the third conference organized by the foundation. Uh, and the idea was to go uh, to Freiburg instead of Frankfurt and Berlin and to be at another place um, and have another possibility. Um, and then um, when we were thinking about the, uh, the conference program and the people you would like to invite, uh, you must remember the time you use until you have organized such a conference usually is a year or a bit more, so it was in, in the winter half year of 2019-2020 when we started to have ideas who should uh, be invited and what should be the topic. 
And we, uh, at that point in time, already saw us that inflation and public debt, or inflation and debt in general, not only public, also private, um, would be a good idea. So to look at the um, uh, intersection between all these areas. And we didn't know that um, today it is even more timely than it was in the beginning of 2020 uh, to look at the relation between monetary fiscal policy and financial markets. And so we are happy um, that we were so foresighted in that sense. Um, and uh, that um, you agreed with us uh, to have a conference on this topic. So thank you very much to be here and enjoy the day's day. Yeah, welcome also from my side. I'm in the board of the Stiftung Geld und Währung, so that's a foundation of, as Lars said, uh, money and currency, basically relating to everything that has to do with price stability, monetary stability, and um, the important issues in, in, in macro and in policy making. Let me say a few words about the history of this institute and what it has done in the past. This, um, it has 20 years of history. Sorry, not of the Institute, of the Stiftung. So, and it was founded, it was basically instituted by law by the German government, and the two trustees are the Bundesbank and the Finance Minister. And ironically, today, it's the Bundesbank in charge of inflation, or was in charge of inflation, the central bank and debt, which is the, the, the area of, of the Finance Ministry. So I think the topic cannot be more timely, and I think it's different, it's really a stake in this. And it was founded basically at the, yeah, the end of the Euro, uh, the mark and the beginning of the Euro. <laughs> and it will be, solved, will be dissolved at the end of the Euro. Anyway. Um, so the interesting thing is it was fine as it has, this, it has a, um, a fund it can draw on, it's an investor's fund, and by that it finances interesting uh, projects and institutes um, in, in Germany. And it was founded by issuing a special commemorative coin, D-Mark coin, in gold, uh, and selling it to the interesting public. And the revenue from that, some hundred million marks, is that was then the starting capital of the of the Stiftung. So that that is basically what we draw, not what we draw on, but what we use then to finance uh, projects and uh, interdisciplinary research projects. The mission of the Stiftung is to bring, keep the awareness of the value of price and monetary stability in the population and by fostering research um, in economics and in law. So one particular goal is to kind of bridge the gap between or bring the two disciplines together and make contributions there. Maybe just one last word. We have now um, two important projects that we are um, supporting and involved in. One is uh, Volker Wiener Amazing Institute in, in Frankfurt, the IFS, and the uh, in Mannheim Graduate uh, College, uh, managed by Klaus Adam. So, so, probably not many people know the Stiftung, but I think it's very uh, active in the background and tries to make its, its contribution to, to these fields and, and to, uh, to research in, in these areas. I think I shouldn't say more. Uh, very equally happy that you're all here. I find the program really, really nice and, and fantastic and exciting. So I think we will have heated discussions as the weather, and I think thunderstorm is also promised. So maybe the discussions will be even more heated. And uh, with that, yeah, I would like to, to close and not spend our time. And I would like to welcome the chairman of the council of the Stiftung, who is. Yeah, thank you, Mike Krause. Uh, the chairman of the board, or board of just three, we are just translating our, our German Stiftung uh, Council, uh, board of just three. Um, there are only three reasons, yeah, because I'm happy that I'm here. It says um, challenges after COVID-19. It's perhaps not correct because we still have COVID-19, but I'm very happy that we can come together, that we don't have to do a Zoom conference because coming together will have us totally different discussion and uh, getting in contact personally, I think we'll have a totally different feeling yeah, to, to, to discuss topics. Second, we already learned uh, it's warm. 
Fornas, uh, yeah, it's the hottest spot in Germany, and every German likes to go to Freiburg, so I think it's a, it's a good spot yeah, to have chosen in Freiburg instead of Frankfurt and uh, Berlin. Um, and third, um, uh, for me, I think it's important to say uh, thank you to two persons. First, of course, uh, to Professor Feld, who organized this conference not only by this academic approach, which person should come together, but uh, doing the daily business, organizing, uh, finding the right persons is really very hard work, and in combination with Michael Krauss from our Stiftung, and so I think it was a wonderful team, that we had the courage yeah, that we were doing this conference, also we didn't know how COVID will develop, and so I'm very excited about the next couple of days. Thank you.